In this tutorial, we'll look at using layers. While they may initially seem confusing, layers are in fact extremely easy to work with and allow you to manipulate your photos quickly and easily in a totally non-destructive way. A typical Photo Plus project starts off as a single layer, known as the background layer. You can create any number of new layers in your image. Each new one appears on top of the currently active layer, comprising a stack that you can view and manipulate on the Layers tab. We call these additional layers standard layers to differentiate them from the background layer. I use Cutout Studio to cut out the subject of this photo. If I now copy it to the clipboard, open my other photo, and then click Edit, Paste as New Layer, Photo Plus pastes the image onto a new standard layer named layer 1 and stacks it on top of the background layer. A key distinction between the background layer and standard layers is that pixels on the background layer are always opaque, while those on standard layers can vary in opacity. If I select the background layer, you can see that the opacity control is greyed out, while on layer 1 I can adjust this value. You can add new layers to your project at any time by clicking the New Layer button. PhotoPlus adds a new transparent layer to the Layers tab. There are many reasons you might want to add a new layer. For example, I can tint my image by filling the transparent layer with a colour. And then changing the layer blend mode to colour. You can learn more about blend modes in the Photo Plus Help, or for a hands-on example, see the Blend Modes HTML tutorial. The colour fill affects all of the layers beneath it in the stack, so if I drag the layer down below the photo of the girl, the tint is only applied to the background layer. And I can adjust the opacity on this layer too. OK, let's move on to image adjustments and effects. I'll select the background layer and apply a Curves Adjustment from the Adjustments tab. PhotoPlus applies the adjustment on a new adjustment layer. This lets me work non-destructively because it separates the adjustment from the original photo. I can edit my adjustment by clicking it and then adjusting the settings on the Adjustments tab. Or if I change my mind, I can delete the adjustment layer by selecting it and clicking the Delete button. The eye icon at the left of each layer on the Layers tab lets you hide and display layers. So I can hide this adjustment layer and see my photo with and without the adjustment applied. Let's now move on to filter layers. I'll open a different photo to demonstrate this. If I apply a filter effect directly to a photo, my photo is permanently altered. I'll apply an effect from the filter gallery. You can see that this has been applied directly to the background layer, but I can't edit it or delete it. So at this point, if I change my mind, my only option is to click Undo and start again. Now, if I right-click on the layer and choose Convert to Filter Layer, and then apply the filter, filter is added as a separate layer inside a filter group, so I can keep my image here intact while also being able to hide and re-display the filter. To edit the filter, I just double-click it, and if I want to remove it altogether, I just right-click and choose Delete. You can apply as many filters as you like to the same filter group. Let's apply another one now from the Effects menu. Now you can see a second filter has been added, and I can adjust these filters independently. Notice also the small icon displayed on the layer to show that it's a filter layer. OK, we've looked at applying adjustments and filters using non-destructive adjustment and filter layers. Now let's look at what happens when you add objects such as shapes, lines and text. Whenever you draw a line with the line tools, or a quick shape. By default, PhotoPlus creates it on a new shape layer. 
Let's add a quick shape to this image. Over on the Layers tab, you can now see the shape on a new layer. The S icon denotes that this is a shape layer. You can add multiple lines and shapes to the same layer by choosing from the combination buttons on the context toolbar. You can read all about these buttons in the Photo Plus Help. Now let's look at text. Any text you create is similarly added to a new text layer. Let's do this now. You can use the Move tool and other tools and commands to manipulate objects on your shape and text layers, just as you would on any other layer. In addition to adding new layers, you can also clone existing layers. Just right click and choose Duplicate. You can also create layer groups. This is particularly useful if you've added multiple adjustments and want to add them all to the same group. To create a layer group, select the layers and then right click and choose Group Layers. Or you can create the group first by clicking this button and then drag the layers onto it. Now let's take a quick look at the other buttons on the Layers tab. At the top of the tab, you can use these lock buttons to lock certain layer properties. This prevents you from accidentally editing them. The New Adjustment Layer button provides an alternative method of adding adjustments, rather than just selecting directly from the Adjustments tab list. Click this button to add a layer mask to the currently selected layer. To learn how to work with layer masks, see the Using Layer Masks video tutorial. The Add Layer Depth Map button creates a depth map for the selected layer and you'll find an HTML tutorial that shows you how to work with depth maps. Finally, the Add Layer Effects button lets you add 2D and 3D effects to objects on the selected layer. You can create some great effects with text and shape objects in particular. I'll add a glow effect to the moon on my shape layer. Well that concludes this tutorial on layers. I hope you now have a better understanding of the various layer types and how you can use them in your own projects.